Hello everybody, welcome back to Jersh Reacts. I don't record these videos as often as I used to because I don't have as much free time as I used to, but I'm trying to uh, make the time when I can to squeeze in some reactions just for fun, just to entertain the people who might be interested. Uh, so Dr. Gonzo in the Discord asked me to react to this song and video, Periphery Atropos. Uh, I don't think I've ever, have you, Gonzo, have we uh, ever talked about this? band I don't know if I've ever heard of them anyway put this over here give me back my window okay uh, here we go reminds me of something already okay the way that the way that the guitar is like being really chunky and grungy and the way that he came in with this really kind of higher pitched melody made me think of Chino from Deftones fun melody That's cool. It's interesting. So the the first half of the chorus is like a standard pop FG. You think it's going to go to A minor, but then it goes somewhere else. Um, is like a really standard kind of catchy hook. But then when it goes to this strange, different like minor chord that I didn't anticipate twice in a row, I think that that, I thought that was a really fun decision. The animation kind of reminds me of that movie, A Scanner Darkly, from the early 2000s, where they shot it live action, and then they rotoscoped or animated over real actors to make it seem like this really kind of strangely lifelike animation. This kind of gives me that vibe, where it seems like they like took a bunch of stock footage and then did like some really quick animation over it to give it its own look, but to be able to do it in a cost-effective way. Um, yeah, so yeah, the music chunkiness, it's not kind of as deep as I would like for a sound like this. I would, uh, you know, I began with Deftones, but I would say it's more of like an AFI right now, if that makes sense. The Matrix. That's cool. That's weird. That drop down is fun. I 
we're only three minutes in. This is an eight minute song. I didn't realize that. Um, I really identify with the lyrics where he's talking about everybody singing the same old song. Where do we belong? Where have we gone wrong? Like, I, you know, I kind of, I feel the pain of the song because on one hand, they want to be pleasing to you. They want to be catchy. They want to be a song that you want to hear and a video that you want to watch. But in trying to cater to you, they're robbed of really doing something exploratory that might not be as interesting. So it's like, it's almost like a cry for like, you know, let me do things you don't like and please like it. <laughs> change up the wasteland fallout and I do, I do love how the animation is pulsating with the riff, with the chord being hit. Dun, 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 dun. Destruction. I'm not going to pause and read those. The animation is like really good, obviously. did the thing where you try to do so many drums there might as well not be any drums rest of it's still good so far Feels like a different song. It's a different melody. Something that I do love about the video is this idea that it gives us where there's the natural us underneath and then there is the painted us on the surface, which is a dual meaning it's the it's the version of ourselves that we project to the public and it's the version of ourselves that the public perceives us as which could literally be like three different people right we could be our true self 
the version we're putting out there and the version that people are receiving, which is not what we're trying to put out. And so I love how like when the emotion in the song kicks out, kicks in that like the animation changes. It's like it's supposed to be a different person singing like this is my angry side. I think that's pretty cool. The drums are a little too much and the song is too long. I feel like um, I feel like the melodies are so different in the second half than the first half that you could make an argument that it should just be two different songs, but whatever, that's, these are kind of the extended, uh, metal bands, or I guess this isn't, I don't know, progressive rock, maybe not, I don't know. Yeah, skateboarding is very tiring, I agree. Get some rest. <clears throat> That's cool. Let's just finish it out. Again, I, I like this a lot. It has like nothing to do with the first two songs in this song. <laughs> just from a composition perspective. I mean. AI artist. Didn't I say... Didn't I say that the animation looks like... It's like they took stock footage and they threw animation on it to give it a different vibe to be cost effective? I just read the credit of AI animation artists. So there definitely was some AI used. I've been seeing some things online where... AI is being used for everything now, um, including, like, animation. It's so funny that, like, the fascination with technology and our need to pursue and advance it is, like, such a threat to everybody's way to make a living. <laughs> every, every job that exists is threatened by machines, <laughs> you know? And, uh... Creative and entertainment is no fucking different. Okay, that's the end. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed the song quite a bit. I thought it was a lot of songs in one song. I was really in the mood and really enjoying the melodies of the first third of the song. And then it went down a completely different direction, different rabbit hole with... Uh, just, yeah, these repeated over and over lyrics. So they, they I mean... They almost admit to themselves that they've run out of new things to say because the lyrics have become repetitive. They've just started saying the same lyrics over and over. And uh, the, the melodies and the musical choices weren't as connected to that first third. So I feel like if this song was shorter and the ideas were broken up where like the first third music and melody, the middle music and melody, and the last kind of instrumental piece, I think if they were... Uh, broken up and allowed to be experienced as their own thing, it would feel a little bit more cohesive. As it stands right now, I'm like, yeah, I enjoyed this. I feel like I listened to, like, three different songs at once, and I guess that's maybe the point as well. I mean, I, I don't know, and this just must be the old school in me, but I like a track ending. I like the fade out, or the fade in, or the hard stop and hard start. You know what I mean? Like, I like knowing, okay... 
you know, that version or that portion of this experience is done, here's the next portion, here's the next chapter kind of thing. When everything kind of runs together, it's hard to, t it gets harder to take it in for me personally, I don't know. Anyway, Gonzo, thanks for asking for, the, for me to uh, react to this. We'll try to get this out to YouTube, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've been been putting music stuff on YouTube, so we'll see if music stuff is getting just copyright claimed or straight up blocked. Uh, either way, I'll share it as a private link in the Discord if, if the YouTube doesn't work out. So thanks for having me watch this, and thanks to anybody who watches this video. That's all I got.